Elsewhere in the news, the state of Texas has placed a priority on testing DNA evidence collected during sexual assault investigations. However, a lot of older evidence kits still aren't tested. And as our Greg Chandler reports, city leaders now looking into ways to get those old kits tested. Since last year, state law requires that all kits be tested within 90 days at a DPS lab. But that leaves no time to test older kits. That's why the council wants to test some of CCPD's backlog at a private lab. Of the nearly 250 untested kits Corpus Christi police still have in evidence, nearly half will be headed to the lab. We had about 247 cases looked over, left over the actual SAN exams. And so what we had to do was go through each one of them and see if, this, if it met the statute. 117 kits, all from between 2005 and 2011, met the criteria of a complete kit and a filed complaint. Tuesday, the council votes to approve a little more than $93,000 to test those kits at a private lab. We already have those relationships with uh, different labs, and, and they are they do have much quicker turnaround. They don't have the volume uh, that DPS has. Victims advocates celebrate the move. Spending the money to test these kits, um, they would really set a precedent that survivors are the priority for our community. Nora Bransom, a community educator with the Purple Door, says about 91% of assaults in Texas aren't reported. Bransom believes these tests will give survivors hope. She hopes they'll also bring closure for others. If we're able to get DNA from these kits, we could have the potential to prevent so much more of this from happening to others. What we really would suspect to see something is in a, in a not necessarily clearing those cases as much as uh, future cases. Then. Victims advocate groups like the Purple Door are encouraged. They believe if these tests lead to convictions, then other victims will be willing to report their assaults. At City Hall, Greg Chandler, Chris Six News. Well, money for these tests is available because hospitals now charge the Attorney General's office and not the police departments for the cost of the physical exams. Well, a popular cafe at the